welcome to season one, episode number 44 of Pro Wrestling's Top 50. I'm your host, Travis McNeil, and today we continue our countdown of the top 50 matches of 2020 with match number seven on our list, which is the GHC Heavyweight Championship match between the champion, Go Shiozaki, and the challenger, Takashi Sugira, from the NOAA The Best Final Chronicle 2020 event held back on the 6th of December. Um, this match is incredible. Um, it's an absolute war of attrition, slugfest, just full of drama, absolutely brutal. And it harkens back to a classic, you know, 90s triple crown title defense, right? And it's just, it's absolutely amazing. Um, Pro Wrestling Noah, kind of the surprise story of 2020. Like, I'll, I'll be honest, you know. The early 2000s, you know, in the mid 2000s, you know, Noah was a really big deal. You had Kobashi and you had, you know, Misawa um, and Jun Akiyama and you had the rise of Kenta and Marufuji, right? No, Noah was the big thing, right? All Japan started to fall to the wayside. New Japan started to fall to the wayside. And, and you know, Noah was the, the, new, the new kid on the block. It was the big deal, right? Um, but, you know into the, you know, 2010s, that started to change a little bit, right? New Japan came back on the rise, um, you know, when, and Noah started to fall by the wayside, you know, the, the passing of, you know, Mitsuharu Misawa, um, you know, changes in ownership and, and stuff like that, um, you know, wrestlers leaving, um, and just, you know, Noah was, was always kind of in the background a little bit, um, you know, and, and, and in New Japan's shadow for sure. So 2020, uh, you know, Noah really came out swinging, especially in the pandemic, you know, um, and a lot of that had to do with the title reign of Go Shiozaki. Go has been a guy that, you know, has been around for a long time now, protege of, of Kento Kabashi, um, you know, great wrestler. Uh, but when he won the title at the start of 2020, I think, you know, my, myself, you know, I kind of thought like, all right, it's Noah, you know, Go Shiozaki's the champion again. You know, what are we going to get out of this? Um, but that man, he basically started this I Am Noah campaign uh, to say, like, he is in the embodiment of the glory days of pro wrestling Noah, and he will carry Noah on his back, right? He, he's the ark, if you will, right? And he will carry pro wrestling Noah on his back and make it, you know, a dominating force in Japanese pro wrestling once again. And, you know, God bless him. He's doing, he's doing that. Um, this match came only two weeks after he defended the title against uh, Nakajima in just a brutal, absolutely brutal affair. Um, leading into this match, you know, it, he was taking this match on a really quick turnaround. He had a really bad arm and shoulder from that contest. Um, you know, Segura is on a, a little bit of a roll. Um, both of these guys have, you know, a storied history with each other. Um, you know, Shiozaki actually won his first GHC title the, the night after Misawa passed away. Um, and, you know, these guys have traded the titles back and forth multiple times. Uh, both of them, you know, are tied for the record with the most amount of reigns with that title at four. Um, with the win here, uh, Segura would have, would have, you know, hit five and, and broken, you know, the, the record that they tie. He would have been the, the sole record holder. Uh, this match, you know, it's, it starts with, you know, even opening wrestling. Um, you know, both guys are, are pretty proficient in that. Go becomes, you know, the first strike with a brutal chop. Um, and from there, you know, this match just turns into an absolute dog fight. Uh, Segura floors him with brutal forearms. And by the end of this match, uh, Segura's chest is just ripped open and raw and bloody. Um, Shiozaki's ear and neck are just a red and purple and raw mangled mess just from the slaps and forearms that, that Segura throws at him. It's just an absolutely brutally stiff contest. Um, and, and the story here is really, you know, the longer this match goes, the more it is going to favor Segura. Go has been putting in long title defense after long title defense after long title defense. I mentioned he went 42 minutes with, with Nakajima two weeks prior to this contest. He had the 60-minute draw with Keno earlier in the year. He had the, you know, the 58-minute match with, uh, with Kazuyuki Fujita, which, 
yes, 35 minutes of that was them staring at each other, but I guess that takes its, you know, emotional toll and psychological toll, you know, just as much as it would take a physical toll. So, you know, he's been putting in these long contests and, you know, with the way the match starts kind of with, you know, some, some slower opening wrestling, you know, this one's going to lo go long and that's going to be scary for Shiozaki because he is going to run out of steam at some point. And, you know, bless his heart in this match, he tries to keep fighting. He is Noah. He carries that spirit of Noah with him in every way, right? All of the legends that have come before him, he holds in his body and in his heart and in his soul. Um, so, you know, Segura gets him down in the corner and delivers his signature, you know, stiff forearms. And Shiozaki fights out of it, but, you know, eats a German into the buckles and just takes them all again. And uh, Shiozaki's selling in this match is just absolutely incredible. I, I joked on Twitter that, you know, he looks like me after I've, you know, wrestled around with my kids for a half hour. You know, he's just completely exhausted. And, you know, they're selling and then there's just, you know, stuff that's real. And, and that man was, was not in a good spot throughout this contest. Um, they, you know, go through just an extended, you know, absolutely great near falls off their signature moves. You know, Segura hits a couple of Olympic slams for two. Um, they do a big time superplex spot where uh, Go counters Segura's superplex um, by actually hitting, like, doing like a 180 and coming down off the top, even though he was in the opposite position to hit the superplex. That was really cool. Um, Shiozaki goes into the, you know, the Noah playbook, right? So he hits the Misawa elbows for a good near fall. And he goes for the Kobashi Moonsault, which throughout, you know, all of his title defense has kind of been his, you know, his, uh, his coup de gras that he, that he hits at, you know, near the end um, that helps lead him to victory. But here Segura gets the knees up. Um, I personally thought that was going to be all she wrote. Um, Go hangs in there and throws just an absolutely wild Stan Hansen-esque, you know, half-blind, not-looking lariat that he just throws his arm at Segura and hopes for the best. It was crazy. Um, Segura, and, you know, that, that sense Segura stumbling, um, he's able to get a, a front face lock. Uh, Go tries to counter it into the, the Go flasher, but Segura locks him in, you know, a, a guillotine with his legs wrapped around. And I thought, you know, when I watched this live that that was 100% going to be the finish that he was going to cause, you know, Go to pass out and take the title. But Go, you know, in one more act of desperation, is able to, to hulk him up and, and counter with the Go flasher. Uh, they end up just going into a wild strike exchange, you know, forearms and chops and just you know, Shiozaki's throwing like Vader hammers, basically like anything they can do to survive. Both guys are stumbling. Segura just ends up throwing straight punches right at, at Shiozaki's face. They were nasty. So Shiozaki ends up hitting one more just wild lariat, right? Like I mentioned before, just throwing his arm and hoping it connects. Um, it does, and then he hits one more final lariat to put Segura away in 52 minutes. Another classic long form Shiozaki title defense in this reign. Um, I don't know how he did it. I don't know how he survived. I thought this was gonna be a title change. Uh, when I watched this match live, I thought it was amazing and captivating and just an incredible ride. Um, watching it again for this project, which wasn't, wasn't too long, right? After it happened, it happened December 6th. So I watched it again, you know, three weeks later at the end of December. It was one of the last matches I watched, you know, when I, I um, you know, did this project to see where it would rank. And it held up just as well, arguably even better. Like I said, it really harkens back to the legendary Triple Crown matches in all Japan of the 90s, you know, with Misawa and with Kobashi and with Kawada. You know, all of these guys that, that Shiozaki, you know, like I said, he embodies. Um, this match was phenomenal. Uh, you can watch uh, the replay of it on Fight TV. Noah started doing uh, shows on Fight TV with English commentary, which is really cool. And again, a big deal for them. Uh, you can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube at Wrestle, or, uh, subscribe to the channel here on YouTube. Follow on Instagram and Twitter at Wrestling50. And please join us again tomorrow as we continue to count down Pro Wrestling's Top 50.